I saw a cartoon once where um, they talked about the differences between men and women, and a woman is looking in a mirror, and she sees herself, even though she's attractive, as really kind of fat and ugly and hideous. And a man, the same man, is physically <laughs> fat, ugly, and hideous, <laughs> and looks at himself and sees a, an Adonis. I'd like to know from the men if, if they think that that cartoon is really true, because I feel like the men in my life, even my dad sometimes says, oh, I try not to look at myself in the mirror. Like, I think more and more men are feeling like more they're being about judged their about their bodies, well, their bodies yeah. and their appearances. <clears throat> the uh, battles that women have been going through in the context of um, magazines, mm -hmm. where they think, you know, this is the magazine of how the women should look, blah, blah, blah. I think that men are just starting to be introduced to the men's magazine saying how they should look, how they should primp, how they should have their hair be. Um, so now they're starting to go through that. And um, I, just, I, I just think that it's the same thing, but it's just at a different stage. That's, That's all I think. Okay, but a lot of people here make media, so what about, we know what goes into making an image. No. So does that affect? differently um because you know it's airbrushed you know it's <laughs> yes painted. but i mean it, it's that you know the answer is intellectually yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah. then you still see how people react to the shot of the guy's abs you know instead of uh, various couples you know talking about maybe how they actually like each other or love each other they go you know that brad pitt yeah yeah, yeah and, well, and, and, and the same brad pitt. he's got Acne scars. Right, uh, but and, and Cameron height, and, and Cameron Diaz has <laughs> the same exact issues. I mean, yeah. Yeah. you know, so we will right. never be able to make the Brad Pitt uh, Cameron Diaz film that you and I were planning to make now. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, celebrities are supposed to have this perfect, this perfect persona, this perfect. Um, but then again, like the things we focus on about them are just so like. The th flaws. Yeah, we that's what we care about. Like, at the beach with their. Like, but when we see them in movies, they need to be perfect. No, but you know why? Why well, why perfection? Like when you're why? Choosing a sexual partner? I mean, let's get to the reality of it. I mean, if you're attracted to a guy or a girl, if they have a pimple or or they're too fat, does that matter to you? Or do you are you looking for someone who fits that idea? An idea I think eventually dissipates 20 seconds into it. I mean, in the end there has to be a real conversation. Right. Yeah, exactly. um, yeah. And that thing, that will never leave. That, that, that point where you realize where you can either, you have, a, you have a, some kind of connection with the person like in a conversation or not. That's the most important first element. And, and no matter like what they look like, because you can go up to somebody who you think is beautiful and you talk to them for a little bit. And if, if you don't have common interests, what's the, what's the, what's the draw? So I guess I, I make films about body image. So oh, perfect. my She's question is office. about, you know, like, is it a new religion? Like, do we, do we, is shopping like religion. the new opiate of the people? Like, if, if, do we want something to strive for? Are sacrificing ourselves? Like, why are we for, doing this? Because yeah. it's not just the beauty industry. It's, <coughs> we're, 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 it's human beings creating the beauty industry. Like, well, why does it exist? Uh, I think is that it, it, Well, I mean, I think, I think there's a natural thing to want to be beautiful. Yeah. I mean, from the earliest times we've been... Um, you know, being wanting to be beautiful is not the bad thing. Yeah, but, the but the cultural standards of beauty are just so variable. Like if you look at Bollywood, the current, the current cultural standard of beauty for a male uh, Indian actor is a man with a barrel chest and a big face and a large bushy mustache. And he's very light skinned. Uh, well, I mean, that, dance, that's and, kind and, of a uh, more dan universal. And uh, dance very well. Uh, and, 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 well and dance and very well. I don't, yes. I mean, I think what they do is they kind I of rotate. Dance. They're so top heavy. That when they're dancing amidst all these beautiful women in saris, that they look like these strong, focal, kind of masculine centers. Oh, right. So, right. I mean, I think that when you're talking about standards of beauty, you're talking about the man looking in the mirror and seeing the Adonis. Generalizations are very problematic. You think back to, like, Cary Grant. No one knew that he was gay. gay yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. there's so many. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Oscar Wilde was on one extreme, but there were rumblings ar around Cary Grant, too. I mean, it's just like there's there's enough hushing up over right. decades. If Tom Cruise maintains to his dying breath that he's a heterosexual male who is five foot ten, then people he's are going to believe that. And he's not heterosexual, either. Yeah, 
<laughs> See, this is this but is the problem. We yeah, we know. I know yeah, these people. Here. They live in my building. You know what the hell? I don't know them at all. But we know them. Like so allegedly, no, we, we know them. We, we we talk about shit that we shouldn't care about more than than what we much we easier. But do we much really? Easier. I well, mean, is that what you all really talk about? No, but like no. in passing, in our acquaintances. Well, uh, in passing. So the I think media that there talks is. About it nonstop. Well, I, I think that there's a certain level of interculture of of. Uh, you know, to get minorly political kind of creepiness that is going on in our culture yeah. right now. And I think it's easier to talk about uh, Kira Knightley's skin issues. It's easier to talk about Kira Knightley than 4,000 4, soldiers dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I mean, because, because you don't want to get into an argument of, you don't want to get into an argument with some people about that. <sighs> However, we can all agree on Kira Knightley. <laughs> yeah. folks, folks, can we all collectively agree that we don't care about Lindsay Lohan? <laughs> can we all yeah. collectively go, I don't know, yes? I